Today I want to show you how you can edit anchor points in Adobe Illustrator. I'm using Adobe Illustrator CC and I have a number of extra tools here because I'm using the Astute Graphics plugins. So please don't let it bother you if you don't have a screen that looks just like mine. Anchor points are the things that hold the shapes together that let you pretend that they're clay and mold them in any way you want. I'm going to start this by opening a template and a template is something that you can use to help you trace and to show you in advance where you need to have your anchor points appear. In this case I'm going to go up to file, new from template, and I've already stored this in the my templates and I'm going to open the oval template. Okay. Uh, I've got to tell you first that if I really wanted to draw an oval, I would simply draw an oval. I wouldn't start by making a square into an oval. But that's exactly what we're going to do here because I want to show you how you can change points that look like sharp curve, sharp corners into something smooth, which are Illustrator's Bezier curves. In this case, I have opened the template. You'll notice that it says Untitled. That allows me to use the template over and over and over again, and it creates a new document every time I open it. I'm going to twirl down my Layers panel and see what I've got. I've just got the one file here, the one layer that is the oval template.psd file. It's not actually a template yet, because it is not marked as a template. To make it a template, you need to go up to the little corner menu, choose template, and now notice that it lost a lot of its color. Also, there's a lock icon here, so I can't do anything. If I choose any of my tools, they're saying, can't do that, can't work. So I need to add a new layer and I'll leave it at layer two. I'm going to start by creating a rectangle. In this case, I don't want to see the fill, so I want to set the fill to none, and I'll just leave the black stroke. So I'm going to come over here. This is my artboard. In other words, because this was the size of my Adobe Photoshop document, this is the size that Illustrator decided it was going to use. So I come up to the corners and I'm just going to draw a rectangle. It's the same size as my artboard. This is the rectangle and you can see in layer two we have the one path. If I turn it off, you can see that I've turned it off. The red is coming from the color of the layer. If I double click, let's see, I double click the layer you can see that I have the choice of light red. In this case, let me just change it to teal and click OK. Now we've got an abounding box that is in teal. If I want to see my outline more clearly, it says I've got a one point stroke. Let's change that a little bit. Now we can see the outline above and beyond the teal bounding box. Okay, on this particular item, on this rectangle, we have a, an anchor point here, 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 and here. These are just the handles on the bounding box. Uh, if I click off of this and I get my little direct selection tool, you can see that there's actually no anchor point here. The smart guides will show me an anchor point here, an anchor point here, one here, and one there. If I decide that I actually want to edit these anchor points, I need to use the hollow arrow, the direct selection cursor and I drag a little bit of a square around it and it shows me the point. Let's see if I can zoom in here enough 
so that you've got a fighting chance of seeing it. It's hard enough on the actual program. Okay, now I want to take this point, come back here again, there we are, and I want to change it to a curve. Okay, that was fairly easy. Let me zoom out again and show you what we did. I want to do the same thing with the other points here. I can click, hold the shift key, click the next one, hold the shift key, click the next one, and hold the shift key. Notice that we have a solid point or solid little square in the corners that are selected. I have a feeling that this corner, oh, come on here, didn't get selected. It didn't. Now it is. And I can come up here and say I want all three of these to become curve points. Okay. Now what I want to do is to move these points so that they are over the points that I've already determined in my template. Again, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see this more easily. Once again, I'm going to be using my direct selection tool. I'm going to place it where I can see the anchor point and drag it to the anchor point here. I'm going to select the next one and drag it here. Let me select the next one and drag it to the template and the final one and drag it to the template. Now the template is not exactly the same shape as we have the path. So you still need to edit these anchor points. To edit an anchor point, you put the direct selection cursor over the little handle that you want to move and drag it as closely as you can until it hugs the template. In this case, I want to move this down just a little bit. So I'm going to click to see this part of the anchor point. I think the problem is on this side and I'm going to pull that down a little bit. Now let's see what's going on here. I need to pull this one out. Notice sometimes you try to pull the anchor, you miss it, and it deselects. That's okay, just to have at it again. Okay, that looks pretty good. Although this curve could be smoother somehow. Let's see what it wants to do. That's not it. You can go fishing for an anchor point by just moving and selecting. All right, bring that down. Let's bring this one down a little bit as well. Again, if you lose it, go back and find it again. Bring this in a little bit. Okay, it looks like this has to come up just a tiny bit more. So in this case, I'm going to pull this anchor up. That is, if I can see it. Come on. It will come eventually. And as you can see by the fact that I have trouble at this angle doing it, you do need patience because even when you zoom in on the image, the little anchor points don't get any larger. I particularly find that annoying, but I understand why that happens. So you just kind of learn to live with it. This is Illustrator and you will learn it and you will master this stuff if you keep at it. So now you know how you can change corner points to curve points and move them around where you want them to go. I hope that was helpful. This is Sherry London. Take care.